Hi friends, welcome back to my monthly tarot series. Um, this is a series where I give you kind of an intuitive read for your month ahead. I do four videos at the beginning of the month um, for each astrological sign group and <clears throat> excuse me and I kind of just give you like a little collective reading and not everything may resonate but some of it might. Um, it's kind of just a fun way for you to see what energy you're dealing with this month. Um, so I do four videos for earth signs, air signs, water, and fire signs, and this video is for my earth sign. So let's go ahead and get started for June 2024. <laughs> Crazy, we're already in June. Um, so let's get started. So it really feels like with this energy with my earth signs, that's Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus people. Also forgot to mention, sorry, before I get into it. If you know your rising sign, I would watch both your rising sign and your sun sign videos because usually the rising sign might resonate with you more. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get going. Uh, so for my earth signs, it really feels like you're stepping into a new period, a new beginning um, with the maiden of blades and the warrior of pipes. As you can see, both of these people are like looking off into the horizon. They're moving forward. Um, the warrior of pipes brings a very like adventurous um passionate and enthusiastic energy towards your future and the maiden of pipes brings like a curious intellectual um and like really achieving this mental clarity for your future so both of these cards are coming forward to kind of show me that you're stepping into this new cycle this new period of life um and you're really thinking about your future a lot this month um and maybe even making plans for the future i see that here as well um there's a lot of really fun, intense energy in this reading. So we've got a lot of forward thinking with the these two cards and really thinking about your future and you're stepping into this new phase of life. And as you're stepping into this new phase of life, I see you as like with these two cards coming out, we have the Medicine Woman and the Lovers card. So this is kind of similar to the Empress in a traditional tarot deck. Um, so the Empress and the Lovers coming forward um, this is like a very like divine feminine like matriarch vibe as you can see and this also in this deck stands for like herbalism so connecting to the earth and being like really connected to mother earth um, and the lover's card has pretty similar um, vibes to it but the lover's card really has to do with decisions and relationships so with the empress and the lover's card coming out together um, I'm really seeing that you're going to have to trust your intuition this month and kind of nourish your relationships. So in a motherly way. So you might um, be meeting new people. You might just need to tend to your current relationships and show them some attention and love. And you might be taking steps forward with, with some people in your life. This could be friends, family, or, a, a, you know, like a partner. Um... But it's a really interesting vibe that we have forward thinking and then a lot of like relationship type um, vibes. This makes me think that maybe some big decisions about relationships could be happening this month. Um, you could meet some new people. And I really want you to embody this Empress energy here during this month because the Empress energy is just such a grounded, like when you think of like Mother Earth, it's a grounded, intuitive, connected energy. Um, and just really, really nourishing those things in yourself this month. So maybe doing a lot of meditating, a lot of go, getting out in nature. We all love to be outside in the summer, right? Um, so really just letting yourself be outside and connected to nature, I think is really going to help you. But yeah, you're going to be dealing with some decisions in your relationships. And again, this could be any kind of relationship you're dealing with, just like with this lover's card and the empress coming out. And then the final two cards that came out for the tarot were um, the devil, and hold on, can't pick it up, <laughs> the devil and the harvest card. So this is similar to the ten of pentacles in a regular tarot deck. So this is kind of an interesting combo because the devil is kind of like a materialistic card or you're really stuck in your vices and you're really focused on your money and not really paying attention to anything else. And then the Ten of Pentacles is like you're achieving this financial stability, you have everything you need, like you're harvesting everything, you're super abundant financially. Um, so when these two cards come together, it can kind of mean two, th two things. It can mean that you're, you've figured out that there's more to life than money, and you've kind of let go of this superficiality and this... Um, 
this need to have everything materialistic, right? And, or it could mean that you need to do that. It could mean that you are too focused on money right now and too focused on your vices, the material things and being superficial that you need to let these things go. And that could be what, what you're seeing, what you're hearing in this reading. If you're one of those people that's like, yeah, I've been too caught up in it. I've been on my phone, I've been grinding, I've been not giving a fuck about anybody around me which is, might be why this relationship card came out. Again, this is collective reading, so I can't be super specific here, um, but either or could resonate for you. Um, you, could have, you could be letting go of your grip on superficiality and materialism and kind of stepping into these beautiful, more nourishing relationships and thinking about the future. Um, but either way, I really think that you need to journal and evaluate your relationship to money here and maybe even your relationship to work and any vices you might have and really evaluate if they're serving you or not and maybe working on letting them go if they aren't serving you and really focusing on the people around you. Pay attention to the people around you this month. Do not ignore that and maybe even do some journaling about the future and what you want to see. Like this is, I love the Warrior of Pipes coming out because it's such a fun, passionate, adventurous card. So I really see some good things in your future. I just think that with the Devil and the, the Ten of um, Shields coming out, the Harvest card, that you're dealing with some sort of battle with work and money. And I know that if you're in America and you're watching this, the economy is not great. <laughs> so I understand the kind of hyperfixation on money and materialism, but it's not everything and it's not going to bring you everything you want in life to focus on those things. Um, and you really need to focus on your relationships this month. Um, so that's kind of the tarot part of the, of the reading, um, for my earth signs. And then I also pulled a spirit animal because I just feel like I love spirit animals. So I really want you to, you guys got butterfly spirit. So I really want you guys to maybe notice if you see butterflies this month or um, maybe butterflies mean a lot to you and, and that's why this is coming out. But this is a transformation card. So it says transformation is beautiful. Um, so I really do think you're stepping into this new phase of life because of these two cards and the butterfly coming out. I think you're letting go of your materialism, honestly, is what I'm seeing in this reading. Um, but if you're still holding on to it, you need to let go and focus on the people around you. Um, but the butterfly spirit coming out, I kind of just wanted to read from the guidebook because these are just so beautiful, um, and kind of give you some, some, someone else's words. So let's go ahead and read this for the butterfly spirit coming through. Um, joy and the beautiful lightness of being alive and creative in the world is the focus when butterfly spirit flutters before you. Transformation is, ine Transformation is inevitable as you grow into your most beautiful, empowered self. Indeed, you will go through some uncomfortable stages as you let go of the forms of your life that no longer fit the new you. Even relationships must go through shifts to match your, emer your new emerging self. If you focus on the beauty and not the challenges, stop taking yourself too seriously and choose to be playful, loving, and joyous, you will soon know the miracle your soul wants to experience through you. Today is a day for joy, so alight. Look around and see the beauty that is everywhere and in everyone, including you. So with this butterfly spirit coming out, um, it just talked about like letting go of things that aren't serving you and just stepping into this new, new phase. So really, really maybe think about that journal on that. If you're an earth sign or earth rising, because I'm also seeing that with the devil and the 10 of shields coming through and really needed to needing to nourish your relationships. So that is your reading for June, 2024 for my earth signs. Again, I do this every month. I try to get it on the first, but if my I kind of go with my energy. If I'm, I was a little drained yesterday, so I'm posting these on the second. Um, but yeah, if you want a personal reading, I also offer those. Uh, these are very collective, so take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. And I'm so happy you're here, and thank you for following. And I will see you guys next month. Bye, friends.